So 7 months ago I asked if you guys wanted an editing tutorial but I never posted one. So here it is. By the way I use After Effects to edit and for the effects I'll show today you're gonna need a plugin called the Sapphire plugin. Which basically gives you more effects and stuff. Anyways. The free effects I'll be showing is the shake effect, time remapping, and a glowing sword effect. So yeah let's get started. So first you want to sync your clip to the music, so you just want to make sure that the kill is on the beat drop. After that you're going to want to click on layer on the top, then new, and then adjustment layer. And then you're going to want to trim the adjustment layer to just where your kill is. Then you're going to go to the effects place and search S underscore shake, and then drag it onto your adjustment layer. Turn the amplitude to 0 and the frequency to 25. The amplitude is basically how much the screen shakes and the frequency is basically how fast the screen shakes. You then want to go to the frame right before the kill and click the stopwatch button where my cursor is. You then want to go to the next frame and change the amplitude to 1. This basically makes it so the screen goes from not shaking to shaking. After that, go to a few frames later and make it back to zero. This basically makes it so the shake ends after a bit, giving you the shake effect. If this doesn't look right, you can go down to the keyframes below and spread them out or make them closer to change how long the shake lasts. You then drag an effect called Lumetri Color and you just want to do what you did with the shake effect, except this time with the exposure effect. You're going to want to change your exposure from 0 to 1. You then want to do this one more time but with an effect called S underscore glow. You basically want to do the same things with the keyframes but this time with the effect brightness. You're going to change the brightness from 0 to 1. The reason I put this on an adjustment layer is so that you can duplicate it and copy this effect onto other kills as well, so you don't have to do it all over again. And once you're done with that, this should be what you end up with. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Hey. If you gotta leave, then I want you to wake me when you come. To time remap your clip, you want to first right click your clip, click time, then enable time remapping. You then want to go to the front and back of the clip and make a keyframe. This just makes sure you don't mess up the timing of your clip. You then want to put two keyframes um, right before your kill and then drag that keyframe and the rest of the keyframes afterwards which will be circled. Um, to the right side of your screen. This just makes sure that the moment before your kill is slowed down. You then want to put another keyframe right after you get the kill and then drag that keyframe and all the other keyframes afterwards which again will be circled to the left side which will speed up the kill. So the clip goes from slow and then quick. After that, you want to place one more keyframe after the kill and then select that keyframe and all the other keyframes and drag it out to the right. This just makes it so that right after you get the kill, it's, um, the video slows down for a second. So, um, and you're basically done after that. The structure of time remapping in clips is basically, it slows down before the start of the kill and then it quickly and speeds up when you get the kill then it slows down again after so slow fast and slow and once you're done with that this should be the end result if you gotta leave then i want you to wake me when you come Okay, so for the glowing sword effect, you first want to click layer, 
new then adjustment layer and then you want to trim it to only after the kill you then want to click the pen button up there which will be circled and then you want to uh, you can zoom out for this and then start to make a mask around your sword so just it doesn't have to be very good just try to like outline your sword or whichever item you're holding after that um click on your layer mask and then turn the mask feather to 150 pixels this just makes it so like the effect spreads out more okay now go to effects and search s underscore edge colorize you should see it there and then drag it onto your adjustment layer now you want to turn edge move to zero and depending on which color you want your glow to be you want to change the colors here to the colors um to different shades of the color that you want to choose so here i'm choosing purple so this one could be dark purple that could be light purple this could be like pink and yeah it doesn't really matter that much after that you want to drag an effect called edge detect and just put it on there and change the edge move to two after that you want to search s underscore glow and drag that onto your adjustment layer and honestly that's basically it dude it's pretty quick um also one last thing you want to click t on your adjustment layer to show the opacity and you want to change it to zero click on the stopwatch button and then go to when you want the effect to start and then turn it back to 100 so the effect kind of fades in and this should be the final result what up? Hey. if you gotta leave then i want you to wake me when you come and yeah, this is what it should look like when you put all three effects together. Here you see there's the time remapping, the shake effect, and the glowing sword effect. So yeah, here it is. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Hey. If you gotta leave, then I want you to wake me when you come back. Anyways, that was it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys found it useful and easy to understand. Also, tell me in the comments below if you use these effects in your montage. And use the hashtag Tixo if you want me to watch and comment on it. Also tell me what other effects you want me to show. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.